I am back from my runs. Made a little space. Need more. So, my shred run was about 2,100 pounds. Uh, came out to 171 dollars. Uh, still eight cents a pound, so that was good. And then I took in all my other crap, copper and all, got rid of it all. So that came to, hold on here. <coughs> uh, so ironing breakage was 968 pounds, 13 cents a pound for $125. Uh, 45% wire. Oh, he gave me 30. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think they recategoried that. Yeah, he's... It should have been 45. Um, I'll show you the difference. But he put it as 30% wire. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was PC wire. So that's right. Uh, it was 100 pounds, 36 cents a pound, $36. MLC was 92 pounds, 50 cents a pound, $46. Yellow brass, 11 pounds, $1.80, 1980. Number two was 285, 26 pounds at 74. They got adjusted. Bear bright was 257 pounds, 305 for 783. That got adjusted. Number one copper was 58 pounds at $3 a pound for 174 dollars. That got adjusted. And 45 percent wire with 116 pounds, 87 cents a pound for 100 and. Hundred dollars and ninety-two cents. So, so then the adjustment on the number one copper was fifty cents more, at fifty-eight cents a pound. So it was an extra two ninety. Bear break came out to um, ten cents more a pound. So that was another twenty-five dollars. The uh, forty-five percent was eighty cents a pound. That came out to nine twenty-eight. Uh. And number two was ten cents more a pound, so that came out to two sixty. So the bear bright was three fifteen. The number one was uh, three ten. Number one copper. No, three oh five. Put a number one copper, and number two copper came out to uh, an extra ten cents there, so that came out to two ninety five. So, forty dollars was the difference, and then the total for all this stuff came out to thirteen hundred and sixty. So, with all this here, it came out to about fifteen hundred dollars, <coughs> which was greatly needed. And this is what I told them to go after they screwed me again, but I caught them. <laughs> no, I just handed it to my yard manager, and he fixed it right away. So fifteen hundred dollars got rid of a bunch of crap. Thank God. Um, I don't feel bad about it or nothing. I'm glad it's gone. Uh, let's try to get my laptop guy to come over here and pick up those. Pick up those. Uh, I think there's some back in here too somewhere. Yeah, there's a bunch back in there, and I wanted to throw him some cash, but um, I asked him if he was busy. He said, "Yeah, what's up?" And, I said if you can come and get your laptops and stuff and get some cash and didn't hear back from them, so <clears throat> I guess cash don't make everybody go woo-woo. So now you're going to say, well, every time you go to the scrapyard, you buy something. Question is, did I buy anything? The answer is, yes, I did. I'm trying to make room and I'm buying crap. Um... Why I bought these, I don't know. It's kind of like those plugs I have out in the yard, but I didn't buy those. Those were free. I got those for nothing. But, um, oh yeah, and I got rid of this box that was right here. Well, just copper on the floor, sweeping it up in the trash. So, I really just wanted the box. Because <coughs> it's a really cool wooden box. But then I decided I would take the 600 and some pounds that was in it it's all different gauges Ian Matthews eat your heart out so these are actually cool these are liquid filled I've never seen liquid filled ones before so those are kind of interesting never seen anything like that uh, you know, ton of these but these have that copper thing in them too and the brass so these are easy to take apart but yeah there's 
all kinds of brass in there. I guess one of those must have leaked because this one's all wet. But there's a whole bunch in here. So, I don't know. <laughs> things I do. The things I do. Some interesting stuff, though. <coughs> like this one here with the shattered glass. And these are all stainless. This here's all stainless. But we'll grind it and make sure. I know a magnet didn't stick on it because we, we stuck them out in the uh, out in the scrapyard. We uh, checked them. But these are all like brand new. So they're just crimped right there. So you probably just uncrimp them over a bucket or just pull that plug out and let the fluid drain out of them. So they're kind of heavy and I know the liquid don't weigh that much but I mean one of these let's see <clears throat> I don't know if I have my scale weighed up or hooked up or not I did earlier uh, I was charging up my lift because I had to use my lift to put a couple barrels up in the van because my helper is useless when it comes to picking stuff up uh oh Come on now. Oh. Hang on people, hang on. You're upside down, you're sideways, you're crooked. You're left to the right, you're right to the left. I heard a beep. Beeping is a good sign. All right, where did I put that? So yeah, here we go. We're at zero. So 1.7 pounds. But like I said, those big chunks there are probably brass. Most of the time they are. So, <clears throat> I'm going to unload this. Put it probably in the back of the garage. In a barrel. Uh, still kind of chilly out here though. It's like 1 o'clock. I want to load up that refrigerator. I want to load up this table. And get that out of here. That'll open up that big section. Took all the power supplies in. All that crap in. Got rid of it all. Like I said, these are probably going this weekend, so those will be gone. That brown one's full of sticks and leaves and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't going to go to Ohio, because I really didn't think I had enough, but I think I'm going to go just to get this out of here. Um, I'll go get some more computers this weekend. And see if I can get up to uh, at least three grand, or close to it to go. Uh, <clears throat> I got all these thin clients here, I can take them apart real quick those have a memory stick in them and a decent board so get rid of those uh, tomorrow we're supposed to have a little bit of snow so I don't know um, I could take my the CPUs they got a little weight to them already uh, uh, can do those hard drives get those done So there's 11 pounds of CPUs there, and I think they're six something a pound, something like that. Something like that. Let's see here. But um, yeah, I kind of jacked my uh, shoulder up at the scrapyard, so now my left shoulder is killing me. Uh, let's see what those are real quick. Board snort, board snort, board snort. You scrap prices. Uh, well, we got pinless. We're looking for pinless. Pinless CPUs. PPUs that are similar. Oh, that's not it. Where they at? No pin CPU. 625. 625 a pound. So what did I say it was? 11 pounds? Is that what it was? 11? Equals. There's another $68 right there, so. Yeah, I'll probably throw them in the, in the, in the bucket too. Get rid of those. Um, the other CPUs, I don't really have enough of to want to take down there. Uh, you know, like the. Yeah, I mean, there ain't really that many there. These don't weigh nothing. Got like five of the, uh. 
uh, 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 what did it call? Wow, I don't even remember. You know, you got a couple slot processors. What are those called? Black fiber. Jesus. I tell you, man. My memories ain't right. So, but yeah, I have all this here weighed up. Um, on the website thing there. It was, it was 2,399 pounds. Is what it was. What it is, what it ain't. I think that's what it was. 2,399. <clears throat> so, next week when I go, maybe Monday I'll take this Gaylord box over to the scrapyard to get rid of that. Get that out of here. Go from there. So, yeah, I, I can easily get... Because if I do 3,000... Um, I'm only going to clear 25 because it's... Well, actually, I'll be, uh, 26 because I already paid my buddy for, uh, going. You sleeping? You want to say hi to the people? No? Oh, you said hi. Did you say hi? Huh? Hey. What? This cat is so skittish. Where are you going? You out? She out. <coughs> But I wanted to see what that, uh... Oh, I can't because I shut my computer off and I didn't save it. So it was 2300 But look at this clown. Messed up the whole bed. Yeah, you did. You want to say hi to your people? Huh? Good lazy ass. Look at you. Look at you. No? You don't want to say hi? You'll probably be a thumbnail. Say hi. Put the rub on him. Earl. No? There you go. There you go. I'll be in a little bit because I ain't going to be doing much today. That's right. The boss. Look, my door fell off. I can't get to go back on there. I don't care. I don't care. Ooh, here's my dinner. Ranch bugles, cinnamon toast crunch bugles, a Twinkie, and a damn uh, cupcake. I was gonna give this to my helper and I forgot. I forgot. No need at all, I might want to. So, there you go, peoples. That was my day. So, $1,500 day is pretty good, I think. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I gotta take this box out of here, and like I said, I'm probably gonna put these. Um, in a barrel in the back for now. <clears throat> or I just take the box and put it over there where that other Gaylord box was for now. Because the only thing I had to put in the garage yet is basically that vacuum. This tote is stainless. This tote is empty pretty much. That's aluminum. That's just going to go in the trash can. Um, that cooler. Uh, put the noodles back in there. And these totes right here. And then the rest of this is going behind the garage. So. If anybody local wants some plugs. Let me know. Oh, I was going to take that aluminum. I'll take that next week. I still have till Monday. Because my inspection ain't until Tuesday. So. I'll get her done. Get her done. So. That's it, guys. So, appreciate y'all. Stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, I can't wait for a Big Country to yell at me for taking my copper in, but... If he wants to pay my bills, he's more than welcome. I will not stop him at all. Or anybody else, for that matter. And if you don't like it, that goes for anybody. Bam! That's right. <laughs> Alright, guys. Stay safe out there. Keep doing what you're doing. I will talk to you all later.